Welcome everybody to the Photoshop Tip of the Week. I am Woody Walters and you're here at Learn Photoshop with Woody Walters. So let's get started here. Hey, I got this average, I'm going to call it an average football shot because it's not dramatic lighting. It's a good shot. I really love this area right in here. But this is kind of cumbersome and everything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this letter, Control J. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. I'm going to do C. And we're just going to grab the crop bar. We're just going to bring that over here. So about right in there, that's looking pretty good. This side I might bring just a little bit. Good. That's looking good. I'm going to go boom. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make this layer white. So I can do Alt-Delete. Boom. And now I'm just going to click on a new layer. Boom. Now watch this. And now I'm going to clip this to that blank layer, which is going to make it disappear completely. All you're going to see is a white background. Now, good. Now I'm going to go to my brush, and I'm going to grab just this brush right here. And we're going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Shape Dynamics. And same thing as what I did last week. I'm just going to show you a different way of using this. I'm going to do about 46 to 50. I'm going to do about halfway 46, and then I'm going to do Flip uh, Jitter. And now I'm going to hit here. And so now I'm going to go to Black. I'm going to make sure both my flow and my opacity is 100%. Now, if you look at this, I can see where his head is. It's going to be about right in here. So I'm going to hit it one time. Boom. Good. And now I'm just going to start letting the brush do its work. Boom. Boom. And I'm just going to come down here and play with this a little bit. Boom. I want to see that guy's helmet. Boom. I want to see his feet. Boom. Good. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to get the bottom part of his foot. Boom. And if your brush is too big, you know, don't be afraid to size it. Use your left bracket key to make it a little bit smaller. Use your right one to make it bigger. Boom. I want to see his arm. Boom. I want to see this guy's. Boom. Boom. He's got him. Look at that. Look at that. Let's move this down a little bit so we can see it. Just going to come in here. Boom. Hit the left side of his head. Boom. Make sure you can see all that. I want a little bit of his helmet there. Good. Good. Let's get his elbow in there. Right there. Boom. Good. Look at that. That's fantastic. And so now we're just going to come over here. I'm going to do two new, three new layers. We're going to be on the top one. I'm going to click a blue. And we're going to get rid of this now. And so I'm going to click a blue. We're going to go pretty dark blue. Good. And now I'm going to grab, you got it, my Harley brush. <laughs> and I call that my Harley brush because the first time I invented that brush, that season, it bought me a Harley with the images that I made from it we're gonna make that pretty big i'm gonna come over here boom just gonna hit that we're gonna come over here we're gonna rotate that a little bit just gonna come right in here boom good 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 now we're gonna get some brown boom i'm just gonna use the same harley brush what the hell let's just park that right over here i'm gonna do flip x i want to rotate that we'll come up to here good just bring in that brown just a little bit good look at that now we're going to go to the marquee tool i'm going to come down one go to the marquee tool the m key and we're just going to grab this and i'm going to grab it about right there we're going to go to about right there we're going to do inside the box you got it that's looking pretty good let's make it a little bit more square that's looking good look at that maybe raise it up just a bit good and now i'm going to do edit and I'm going to come down to stroke, and we're going to stroke it at a three pixel length. I'm going to say OK, and now we're going to deselect. Look at that, people. Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do one more thing. We're going to do hue and saturation. I'm going to do an adjustment mass in hue and saturation. I'm going to bring the saturation up. Look at that. Tell me that's not just killer. Tell me that's not killer. I'm just going to go to history. So we went from this, open, boom, to this, boom. Look at the difference in that. And people, if I didn't have to explain it, I could do that in about three minutes' time. Three minutes' time. That's just using two different brushes and then just making them do a jitter 
and painting it in. Oh my goodness. How quick is that? How beautiful is that result? You take something average and really make it pop. And so there's your Photoshop tip for the week. People, if you like these tips, be sure to join the exclusive club. My God, if I can teach you this in just a few minutes, think of what the treatments and, and what I can teach you when, when I do over an hour long video every other month. We do the 15 minute makeover. We do the weekly critiques of everybody's images. You're just going to learn so much. And that's where it's all about. And that's about paying it forward. And so until next week, shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. We will see you here at the Photoshop Tip of the Week.